So um, I might just throw in a quick prayer and then we'll, we'll kick off and, and get going. So Lord, I just want to thank you for the opportunity that you give us with this, uh, this program down at Main Street. I just ask that you'll be with us tonight to protect us, to guide us in the conversations with everybody that's there and that we just have a really good time and also to look after the film crew. Amen. Amen. Okay, let's um, load up the van and we shall run away. Mornington Main Street at 2am, 3am in the morning is a lot different to what it's like at 12pm when you're surrounded by drunk people and there's women being treated in a way that um, is quite disturbing and different things and you're right there in the middle of it trying to be a presence uh, for change and a presence for good. Um, and I think that's so critical that whatever injustice we engage in, none of us can bear that alone, none of us can engage in it alone. And I think whether you call it the body of Christ if you're a person of faith or you call it the family of humanity, um, we actually need to collaborate with each other. My real heart and my passion is community engagement. I think a church or the Salvation Army needs to look outwards um, and I, that's something that I really enjoy. It gets me out of bed in the mornings networking and working with people to, to meet a greater, a greater good or a need. So it's more about realising that the Salvation Army is for the local community, to engage in the local community, meet the needs of the local community. And the whole live, love and fight vision casting of the Salvation Army, I was thinking about it. and. I was thinking that if we truly live in community, we begin to love the people in our community and then we discover that we're fighting for. And I'm really certain of that and that's something that I really believe. The example of the Main Street Salvos is perfect in it because it was initiated by the local Salvation Army leader, Sean, but he very quickly got the, the footy club on board, got myself as a local councillor on board, got other um, faith communities and, and community groups on board, even got the local Maccas, um, owner of the local Maccas on board, and each of those groups bought other kind of groups that gave um, the Salvos kind of space um, that sense of, oh yeah, this is something that really is valued and, and has credibility with other local kind of leadership. I think the best thing is that they're now recognised as being an established part of Main Street. I mean, they've been doing it now for around four or five years. When you talk to anyone in our club, they know that they're here. It's just important that there's that contact, that if they're needed, they're here to look after those people at that, at that time of night when they can be quite vulnerable. From a, a football netball club point of view, it, it has been one of the most successful things um, probably that, that we've done in, in the 20 odd years I've been there. I just think it's, it's another part of community coming together to establish something that Salvos and the Football Netball Club have managed to do. And I suppose as being part of one of those clubs, I'm extremely proud that we've been able to, to see what you see here tonight. I guess this is, this is something a little bit different, what we do with Main Street Salvos. It's not, it's not a program that meets the needs of the poor. Um, it's not a program that meets the needs of the downtrodden. But it's a program that meets the needs of the young kids here that don't know actually how to look after themselves. Last year, the very first bottle of water we handed out was to a young kid so he could take, it, take his ecstasy tablet. You know, we were really excited. Great, first bottle of water going out, someone wants it, and then bang, you know, reality really kicked in. You know, we're just here to look after these kids because, yeah, th this is an area where Mornington's a beautiful place, but it turns very ugly at night. And, you know, we want to help, and, and this is one, one thing we can do. Just get out there into your community and there's a need in every community. It doesn't matter what area you're in, find something that will engage with the people and, and really assist them. One of the main reasons I really wanted to do it was to set an example for my own children at home, that it is important to go out and do mission. 
So my 18-year-old son, this is his first summer that he's been out and he's out with us tonight, but it has taught him the importance of yeah, living, loving and fighting for God. I, I think that there's that point that they, if, they, if they need that, those people to come to for help, there is somewhere in, in Main Street, Mornington, at this time of night, where you're going to find someone that can help you look after you. As Salvation Army, this is, we're out here tonight, we've got a crew out, and we're out here every Saturday night and summer for that very reason, so to live, love and fight, um, because we love our community and we want to fight for them um, and bring about a place of safety and assurance, because they deserve that.